Hey, what's up, pretties? It's Bonnie again, and I'm here with another fall setup on my temporary shelf that I used last time for my, what did I do here? I did my nursery in the last video, and today I chose to make a quick little fall, I guess, little department store because I am, we are going to be trying on some fall clothing that I handmade myself. Yes, while learning how to sew. And I also wanted to show a uh, pack of sweaters that I recently purchased from Amazon and they were a tad bit too big so I'm not going to make a video about them. I just wanted to show them really fast. So I think it was um, a set of 10 sweaters. It was advertised for $12.99. I bought them about a month ago. I've had them here. And I wanted them for Christmas and for some of them are very like Valentine's inspired some of them are christmas as you can see and they are really really cute but the only downside is you can see it they are way too large for the barbies so i will be having to learn how to cut and adjust these i don't have any dolls that they would fit and i really i was looking forward to making them um barbie size or one six scale for christmas really really cute so i am going to learn i'm going to try um I guess to cut them and then just make them a little bit more narrow and then the sleeves kind of bring them in a little bit. I have been practicing a lot of sewing lately, so I do feel confident. This one's really cute. I love the one with the flag on it. It's really, really cute. And then this one for fall was just so perfect, but so large. So I am going to have fun learning how to adjust these for the dolls. Maybe I could leave one or two oversized. Um, we'll see. But I think they overall they're just too big. Can't make them work at this um, stage for the Barbies. So yeah, so that was that. I'll still link it below if you are interested in this pack of sweaters. If you do want them for like a teddy bear or I'm not sure. I don't even think they would fit the elf on the shelf. They're too big. But if you still like them and you want to take a look, I will link them down below. So now on to the homemade um, sweaters and fall wardrobe. Here are some of my scraps of fabric. So you can see some of the colors that I chose to use. This really nice plaid long sleeve shirt that my son had from Carter's that didn't fit anymore. And all these scrap pieces that I have left over. First attempt at making a sweater, which yes, I know it's really bad. And I only had white thread that I could find at the time. But I was just practicing. I know the sleeves are my worst part. I did cuff it and I wanted to use this elastic at the bottom kind of like as a border. Then I kind of made a short sleeve matching one for girls. This one turned out a lot better. I didn't need to really hem the edges because this material doesn't really unravel. Here's a little uh, dress that I made out of my son's plaid shirt. Oh, and then there's my artwork that I was working on for the Halloween, which is my witch. So there is a close-up of my uh, finalized little art project on the file folder. She is taped on the side of my uh, shelf here next to my little Chelsea boy. He is also wearing a homemade one of my little sweaters. Then I plan on matching the this little white top. And I think I'm going to pair that with the little skirt that I made. And I think it makes a wonderful little fall outfit. So we're going to be trying that onto a doll. Right here, I made a real cute little plaid skirt using my son's... I think this was a piece of the collar or the sleeve. I don't remember. But I had to make my own hole again for the button because the other one was too large. And it perfectly fits around the dolls. I didn't have to do any hemming because, of course, I used the edge of my son's shirt. So this was already pre-done. I didn't have to do anything but put it together into a little skirt. And here's another two-piece dress or two pieces that I put together into one. I try to make a little collar. Right here, I couldn't find any good thread. This is the sleeve that I really messed up on. On this one, I did okay. As you can see, I'm kind of learning. I just need a lot better materials and thread. Here's the back of it, the opening to put the doll in that same burgundy uh, stretchy fabric that doesn't unravel. Here's a long pencil skirt that I made from an old pair of sweatpants that I had from a brand called Wild Fable from Target. 
and I hemmed them using red thread that I could find. I also made a little romper in the same fabric with two pieces. As you can see, I made a top piece and the little bottom shorts and then I just brought them together. So that's not bad, I'm getting the hang of that. It's just mostly the cut and hemming that I'm really struggling with. Up next I made, or the last piece that I made is a little sweatsuit from my son's old uh, onesie, which was a very thick onesie with this kind of material, so I thought it was perfect. And as you can see, I'm learning. This is my first official pair of pants that I have ever made, and I am learning how to make them. And they're not bad. I haven't hemmed these either because this is also very stretchy material, so it doesn't really unravel. And then as you can see how I struggle with the sleeves, but it does fit on the dolls. So we're gonna be putting a cute warm sweatsuit homemade on one of the dolls. This is a lot of clothes guys to have from just scraps of fabric. So I'd rather start learning how to make my own pieces if I'm not really happy sometimes with the Mattel or um, like the fashion packs can get very pricey. This is always an alternative for you guys to take with old scraps of clothing that you don't use or wear anymore. That's perfect for making your doll clothes. And now we're back pretties and here we go and everybody is nicely dressed with a brand new fall outfit. So what do you think? Every single doll here is wearing at least one piece if not a full outfit with my homemade stuff that I just made this last weekend. Let's look at my little Sophie here. She's holding a little hanger. This is the shift dress that I made. I really like that it's kind of loose fitting at the top. Allows allows plenty of wiggle room and you can put it and it fits on the curvies but I just like the way it fit on her because she kind of has um, a slim but tall body. Here's the back of it. I paired one of the Amazon Fashion Pack uh, shirts on her with the pencil skirt that I made myself and again some silver kind of neutral uh, sneakers that allow the bold burgundy to kind of take center stage for the outfit. Here's the back view. Okay, so we looked at Simone. Now let's take a look at Victoria, which is looking very comfortable with her nice little sweatsuit. Now again, this one was probably like the second shirt I ever made. So yeah, it does need a lot of, you know, detail, attention to detail, but I am learning on, I'm working on the sleeves, on how to make sleeves. And I also secured her with a safety pin. And I tucked in her top. And it looks very loose fitting and relaxed. Now we're getting to my third to favorite uh, outfit because it's between these three that I just couldn't decide my favorite. But here's my Steffi Love. And since she already is themed with a lot of pink colors, it just looked wonderful on her this, to pair these burgundies purples and pinks with her and I paired her like I said her belt that she already came with and her original boots so those are hers and look how cute this outfit looks this is like so fall and office ready teacher outfit this is perfect I paired it with the pink mini fashion brand um, Chanel inspired bag let me show you the bag there she is. I secured her as well with a safety pin and her belt. So that really helped. Uh, being my second to favorite outfits. Here is my Sally from the Valley on the tall body. I paired the knit um, sweater kind of quarter sleeves or halfway sleeves. This one I didn't really have to secure. It's kind of loose fitting. And I can just slide it right on her. I don't need to cut any slits or anything. It's perfect. Skirt that I made out of my son's shirt. I think this was his collar. And I like how the button looks in the front. And I think she had the perfect body for this certain skirt because she's long and tall. Which allows the skirt to just kind of flow. See, it sits right at her hips. It doesn't fall down or anything. Casual, but very flirty. And then we have the mini fashion brand Rose sneakers again to complement the outfit. So I'm really happy with this one. And then we'll move on to my first, I guess, favorite outfit of all of my homemade stuff is my Barbie Extra doll. 
and she's wearing my skirt that I made. That shirt I had from a Amazon fashion pack. This skirt I made from my fabric. Here's the back. I also secured it with a safety pin to make it tighter. Once I purchase buttons or Velcros and things like that, then I will start securing it. I paired it with these little stockings that came in another fashion pack that I recently purchased. It's up on my timeline as well. These little hiking boots that came with that fashion pack that I really enjoy looking at. They're really cute. And they match our top and skirt perfectly because we still have the white accents. So really, really cute. She just looks super modern. I love her purple hair. I wouldn't change it for the world. Go ahead and give her her purse back. She looks wonderful. I love all my dolls. That'll do it for now, pretties. I really hope you enjoyed this fun, quick little video on how I made these pieces using some scrap fabric that I had lying around the house and the color scheme that I'm going for. Now they are fully dressed and ready to enjoy the outdoors and possibly a little take a little trip. So we'll see what the dolls are ready to do. I will see you in the next one, pretties. Bye.